How will Bezos be able to squeeze literally every drop of labor power by making his workers stand and piss their diapers if he can't leverage the fact that they'll starve if they don't? Let me first start by saying that most of the ultra-wealthy have wealth through assets, either physical property or stock ownership not through income. When we say Musk is worth 200 b, most of that is assets. His liquid wealth, while still substantial, is likely much much smaller, maybe a few hundred million. You also must understand that money is not the same to the wealthy as it is to us. Money for them is a tool used to create more wealth and acquire greater power. Anything which diminishes that tool must be minimized in order to maximize its use of the tool. Basically, we have a few motivating factors here. 1. The relative power of their wealth. The more they're taxed and the more it is equitably distributed, the less their wealth will make them completely dominant in society. Desperate people are easy to control. Wealth in America is power because all of our needs are only accessible through money. They'll all still be rich, but they won't be as powerful. That's why they don't want to be taxed. 2. The desire to sustain a lavish lifestyle utilizing a much smaller amount of liquid assets. So paying 25% of 300 million will actually lower their ability to own all those fancy houses and yachts and rub elbows with politicians and officials. 3. The desire to utilize wealth productively to make more wealth. While a few million less may not be substantial, those few million may be worth 10 or 100 times if properly invested. So the pain of that tax is many times multiples. Also, the desire to avoid taxes on assets is, when 98% of your worth is in assets, you sure don't want that to happen. 4. A lot of times these people don't even closely manage their money. They pay people to handle all of their finances. Their personal finances are larger and more complex than most medium-sized businesses. Naturally, their employees are looking to act in their employer's best interest and the default behavior is always going to be to save money. Not pay taxes, etc. I know people have different feelings on this, but I personally don't see this as some moral failure. It's the intention of the tax code. If we don't like that they are following the laws in this way, we should change the laws. I have a friend who worked directly with two billionaires in my life. He was contracted as a financial strategist for both, working with their company's controllers, CFOs, and chief counsels. It's not about the taxes specifically, more about maximizing net income, which often gets to the point where one critical step in doing that is minimizing taxes paid. Sometimes NPV is increased by spending the money to employ risk management, strategy, legal, accounting, etc. A team to do some creative stuff with assets, business units, insurance, etc. 5. The desire to be richer than your rich friends. After a certain point, it isn't money anymore, it's just a high score. Nobody can reasonably spend a billion dollars on themselves. It's just an absolutely insane amount of money. So the difference in lifestyle and purchasing power between 1 billion and 500 billion is really meaningless. At that point it isn't money, it's a score that you want to run up so you're richer than your rich friends or just because you are compulsive about winning at finance. Humans are extremely complex. There isn't one single answer why, and there's more than just one theory as to why people might act like this. Some would espouse this as natural human behavior at least more common than not. And some would say these people are extreme, bordering, or even fitting psychological disorders. Generally, it wouldn't be wrong to boil it down to human greed, but rather, the desire for progression. Like mentioned, some say it's natural, some say it's an extreme bordering insanity, just depends on which perspective you take. It's complicated, but I'd say greed and jealousy is good enough as an answer most of the time. 